My name is Josh Beach and I'm here with my co-host. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about pregnancy. Frank, you have nine nipples. You have nine puppies. <laughs> yeah, nine. I know. How do you feel about that? Six weeks. 36 weeks. Got four weeks left until my due date. The last update video, so you know, because you haven't been in any of them yet. Um, I watch them all. You do? I'm a fan. No, thank you. Yeah. yeah, you have to live through it as well. <laughs> the last update video I did was at 28 weeks. I thought I would have my lovely husband join me because everybody seemed to like you on my channel for some reason. <laughs> they think you're funny or Thank something. you very much. <laughs> so, I do appreciate he's it. He's back. We're on our baby moon right we now. We are on our baby moon. Which we didn't mention. We did not we mention ma This is not my fireplace. With sand in it. No. You can see that. Why is that? Children's play area. <laughs> In the fireplace? I don't know. It's hard. I've been getting the cramps. Yeah. You've been getting cramps? been getting cramps, yeah. Lower back ache. Yeah. Um, sympathy no, weight gain. Sympathy weight gain. My hair's a little more limp. Grace. Face. We've yeah. both gotten a lot of grace. a little puffy. Are you just looking at my face and then just saying that? No, you're you trying to tell me something. No, <laughs> I am losing my jawline now. <laughs> you still have a beautiful chiseled jaw. Thank you. In the past four weeks, I would say my biggest kind of battle has been with my feet and ankles particularly. The swelling has reached new heights. I didn't know that my feet could get that big. So that's been it's cute. terrifying for everybody involved. I wasn't scared of them. No? I said they're a little bit more paw-like. Paw-like, yes. Than usual. <laughs> yes. He now refers to them as my paws, not my feet. They still look cute. They're Thank all, you. All they're right. cute paws. Being in the water helps me, for sure. Yeah. I've been doing a lot of Epsom salts. Well, and you've been and limited on your exercise that you can do, haven't you? Yes. So I guess, swimming's been great. Yeah, I get I would advise that to any pregnant lady Lots of swimming, because yeah, I've noticed swim. such a big difference in the way that you sort of hobble about, and I? Yeah. It's a bit more of like a street hobble, as before it was a bit more like old lady. Yes. Yeah. So if you want swag with your sort of waddle, your pregnancy waddle, swim. From my perspective, I feel that, it, yes, your symptoms have got progressively worse because you're getting bigger yeah. and more uncomfortable, but now, with there only being a few weeks left, the excitement has kicked in. Yes. So it's like, yeah, you feel like shit and you're uncomfortable, but it's also like, she's about to be here. Everyone's been asking me like, are you nervous? Are you nervous? And I had like a bit of a breakdown moment, like a couple of nights ago, where I didn't even really realize I was obsessing over baby proofing the house and wanting to have all of that done. I'm trying to get everything that I can possibly get done to prepare for this done before she's here to make myself feel better. And I think Josh was like, well, that's a bit excessive. Like, do we need to baby proof that? She's not gonna be crawling for a while. Like, do we need to do that right now? And I think it was more for my sake. And I realized in kind of having my lovely hormonal tearful moment that I, um, I, I do have a little bit of fear or nerves about it and I think that's why I'm kind of excessively preparing because I want to give myself as much comfort and confidence as I can before I kind of it, dive into this, you know, total unknown chapter of life that I have no experience in and know nothing about. So I think that's the excitement's there, but at the same time, like the nerves and fear that everyone has been has been asking me for months if I have, which I've been like, no, I'm not scared at all. Like I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's happening one way or another. So like, yeah, I'm not obsessing over fear too much. Now I feel like it started to kind of creep in for me because like it's becoming very real. I mean, in a month or so, we are gonna have a human, a brand new human that's completely reliant on us. Yeah, I'm not scared about that. He's her. not scared at all. As long as we love her and feed her and, you know, check on her in the night, we'll be fine. It's so crazy. It's cool. That we're going to have, like, a person that's half you and half me. I know. 
it's just there. It's wild. <laughs> it's the best. But even now, it's a big responsibility. That's true. You've had to give up roller skating. You've had to give up, obviously, ski season is over, but you can't go to the dry I ski slopes. not. Yes. She was actually thinking about taking up fencing. No you fencing. sold your go-kart, haven't you? Yes, my go-kart is no longer in the garage. You know, I'm I'm a real daredevil. Yeah. And I've I've put a lot of that on hold. Yeah. Comment below if you want Shanae to do a how to roller skate tutorial when she's not. Oh my not. gosh. I can't roller skate at all. Please don't make me do that. Well, you what? had to give up the um, roller skating, not obviously because if you fall, that would be bad. But yes. also you just couldn't get your foot. <laughs> but, but in the roller skate. I've given up a lot of footwear. That <laughs> this is true. Thank goodness ASOS Joking aside, does wide shoes. So far, so good. We have a name, we have the nursery is totally finished. Her closet looks Her closet is on amazing. point. It's on point. She's got some Gucci in there, some she does. in there. She's got Obviously multiple her, converse. Her aunts and uncles have spoiled her she's rotten got already Doc and she's Martins not even here yet. Already. Yep, she's got docs. She's got course. a faux fur leopard jacket. She does. She's got a couple of pairs of sunglasses. Yeah. She is killing it. Yeah. So she has a better wardrobe than me. Honestly, I feel like maybe we do like the nursery tour and then maybe we also do a little wardrobe tour. Or we know? could do like a little like fashion show and, and but she wouldn't be able to walk, but I can just sort of carry her around. You know where you just like hold a baby in their feet, just sort of they there. just kind of get propped up. That'd yeah, be good. That, that would have to. Her and Frankie like, do it together. Down the line, when she can hold her head up and stuff. Right. Because they can't do that initially. Good to know. Yeah. It's <laughs> good. It's good. We haven't baby proof, like I said, so we need to baby proof. Maybe we should do like a a baby proofing video or something like that. Yeah, because people spend a lot of money on having a, a dude or a lady. Yeah, we went to this all. CPR class the other day. A couple there had just had their house professionally baby-proofed. They spent $1,200. $1,200! I feel like we should wrap things up because I'm oh, getting really hot because we had to turn off the AC to film. <laughs> Thank you for joining me in this video. If you guys like seeing Thank you for having me, Josh. Baby. <laughs> if you guys like seeing Josh in another one of my videos, then definitely give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below so I can bother him to be in more videos with me on here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. See you later.